Welcome to the Institute of World Politics. Uh, I'm John Lenshovsky, the president of the Institute, uh, and I'm delighted uh, that we are hosting a very interesting program with some of the most distinguished people in America uh, who are uh, intellectually equipped to address the issue at hand. Uh, I'd like to introduce the gentleman who is responsible for helping put this whole thing together, John Wilhelm, a longtime friend of the Institute, a former naval intelligence officer, who was for many years a correspondent for Time magazine, including in such places as Southeast Asia. He runs his own uh, communications company, and recently he has been writing a book on the GRU, uh, Soviet Military Intelligence. Uh, from which project he uh, uh, gained a, a particular interest in the Hollis case. And so uh, without any further ado, I'm going to turn uh, the, uh, the podium over to John, and he will introduce our speakers in the program. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, John. And I do thank IWP and all your officers and staff for helping us uh, so, so tremendously with this uh, affair. Uh, we are missing at this point one, <laughs> one of our uh, uh, panelists, but uh, uh, I do welcome everybody here. Uh, thank you for turning out. And uh, we, as I've explained to the panelists, are going to conduct this more like a live television show uh, <laughs> Than, than a, an academic uh, forum because we're very tight on time. There's a lot to cover here. Um, we have three purposes, really, uh, for putting this on. One is to explain this relatively new uh, analytic method called argument mapping. And uh, we have one of the world's experts, Paul Monk, to help us uh, explain that, as well as Charles Torty, our methodologist. Um, we're going to use the mapping technique to analyze the Hollis case, which has been around for decades now. And um, unfortunately, we uh, our, our, our original uh, uh, conception of this uh, uh, was an all-day affair in which we were going to bring in some, some of the British people, Chris Andrew and others, and uh, we just uh, could not pull that off. So it's largely going to be uh, a look through argument mapping at Chapman Pincher's um, uh, assertions about Roger Hollis. And uh, the third purpose is really to stimulate some of you all to go out there and uh, follow up some of the leads that uh, we may suggest today. Uh, and uh, whether it's uh, for the prosecution or the defense of Roger <coughs> Hollis. Um, We'd like to have this cold case clarified, believe me. Uh, some of us weed whackers, as we call ourselves. Uh, it's very important for all of us to understand this is not a mock trial, okay? And uh, it's not meant to be. Uh, we're very concerned that, about Roger Hollis's reputation and the reputation of MI5 and the British Security Services. Um, we're just trying to do some analysis. And uh, welcome to hear in your Q&A at the end of the program uh, what uh, points that you want to express. Feel, please feel free to do so. In order to help clarify the issues as we bring them up, let me introduce our, our panelists. Um, Charles Twardy from George Mason University. He's the expert in analytic methodologies. Dr. Charney uh, has yet to arrive, um, but we're holding his space for him. Uh, he uh, is a practicing psychiatrist who has almost 20 years experience dealing with insider spies. He's participated in some of the largest spy cases in this country, particularly. Um, Ray Bathinus is a retired counterintelligence specialist uh, who has worked with some of the major cases in our time. 
and written several books uh, in the field and teaches here at IWP. And Harvey Clare, who is the Andrew Mellon Professor of Politics and History at Emory University. Uh, he's written many histories uh, about Soviet intelligence and American communism, and uh, he graciously flew up today from Atlanta to participate in this forum. And we have a fifth participant, whom you may also not see up here, Paul Monk. Uh, without his his hard work, we just could not have pulled this off. It is Paul's uh, diligence and uh, hard work that uh, has, has uh, contributed so much uh, to uh, uh, this forum. Now, he can't be here today because he's uh, been wrestling with a severe illness. And actually, as, as of uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, he had full hopes of being able to participate here. Uh, but you will see he has diligently prepared four videos um, that we will be showing you, uh, after which we will have 10-minute discussions by each of the panelists. Um, so uh, the first will be on argument mapping, explaining argument mapping, because Paul is one of the world's experts in that field. And then the other three will take us through three of the Hollis maps um, and do the analysis. Paul has also prepared several other of these maps uh, that will be contained in a uh, long report and chronology uh, that we'll be posting online. Uh, we will have, as I said, 15-minute Q&A at the end. If you'll pass your questions, if you'll write out your questions on the cards provided to you, and, and someone will be collecting them, and we'll pass them up to the front and we'll try to handle them all. Now, like the excellent intelligence officer that he used to be, uh, Paul is eavesdropping on us <laughs> and down in Melbourne. And you ought to be aware, it's very early tomorrow morning for Paul. Um, and, uh, and he's smiling. Can you uh, turn around and show the folks Paul? <laughs> Paul, you want to say hi to this crowd? Yeah, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm really sorry I can't be there with you today, but um, this virtual workshop, I hope, will be very stimulating, and I look forward very much to your questions in due course. Thank you, Paul. Well, let's move right on, and I'd like you to, to see first some portions, very short portions, from a 1988 television series. It was a six-part series produced by London Weekend Television called The Trial of Roger Hollis. And the first program led off with Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher's defense of Hollis. Uh, she was making her speech before the House of Commons on March 26, 1981 the very day that Chapman Pincher published his first book with all of his uh, accusations of Hollis. And following uh, Thatcher's defense of Hollis, you'll uh, see an introduction by former CIA uh, director Stansfield Turner, and then Chapman Pincher himself will set the stage for the Hollis uh, story. So 